Welcome to BBC Travel Airways, where the service and food are rubbish, but the in-flight entertainment is whatever you want it to be. With this, it's Glyph, and the makers claim it's the world's first personal cinema system. They look like an enormous pair of over-ear headphones with built-in screens in the headband, and that's basically what they are. This device projects light off two million micro mirrors directly into your eyes. Now that sounds terrifying, but the idea isn't much different from the technology used in the early days of HDTV. These are incredibly comfortable and very lightweight as well. We've reviewed others that have just been too heavy to wear on the bridge of your nose. Obviously, I would love it if it didn't have a wire plugged into my device. But what's nice is I can still see what's going on around me whilst I've got these on. So I can keep a little eye out for the drinks trolley. There's no sign of it yet. It's always good to be ahead of the game when it comes to gadgets. And with this, we really are because it's a prototype. But whilst it represents the future of gaming, its roots are very much in the past. The Sinclair ZX Spectrum Vega Plus looks a little like a PlayStation Vita. It's got its own screen, so you can play games on the bus, on the tube, or even a, a long haul flight. It comes with 1,000 officially licensed games preloaded, so there's plenty to keep you busy. The nostalgia levels on this go through the roof. I mean, it is great to reminisce, but for the money that you pay for all these old school games and all the little glitches that they've got, the novelty just wears off really quickly. Maybe some things from the past are just better left there. The market for fitness bands and smart watches is crazy right now. There is so much to choose from. And guess what? It just got that little bit bigger because a very famous sat-nav brand wants to get in on the action with this. The TomTom Spark sports watch has GPS, heart rate monitoring, and built-in music playback all in one. It's aimed at runners, cyclists, and gym goers who are fed up with taking their smartphones along with them. So this could be a perfect holiday companion. However, it's not a new idea, and there are a few other brands doing the same thing already. Yes, I know, there's no real need for GPS on a stationary bike in a gym, but imagine if you're in a brand new city somewhere around the world and you want to roam around on a bike, then this will keep a little eye on where you've been. Plus, it'll also allow you to continue to monitor your heart rate and your workout. And let's not forget, this is a fraction of the price of a smartwatch.